I told you that it's no accident that cars have started to look uglier, blander, and all the same. Oh no, what happened was they all got the same memo from the higher ups. Every car must look like they're squinting for dear life by 2025, squinting like a kid at the back of the class without his prescriptions. You can give it a porky pig nose if you like, but by God, it better be squinting. Think about it. Cars used to be something you'd dream about as a kid. Everyone had that one poster of a sports car on their wall, and owning one was like a rite of passage. But now, look around. All these new cars, they look like PCs on wheels, soulless, lifeless, all designed to be forgettable. And here's the kicker. This isn't by accident. Oh, no. This is part of a bigger plan, a plan by the oligarchs to stop people from wanting to own cars altogether. Ideally, they don't want us driving at all in the future. They'd much rather have us using advanced AI-based public transport, driverless cabs, buses, trains, all automated, all controlled. So how do they make this shift? Well, one of the easiest ways is to kill the passion. Back in the day, cars had character, they had soul. You could fall in love with a car. But today, these things don't even have faces anymore. It's like they're closing their eyes. Why? Because the eyes are the windows to the soul, and these cars, they don't have one. They're designed to be seen as a utility. Nothing more and nothing less. No passion, no love, just machines. And on top of all that, they create a fuel crisis, introduce pay per mile, ban diesel and petrol, ruin Top Gear. And make insurance costs more than your family, and you're not sure if the next available driving test is before or after World War III. I mean, what's left at that point to inspire someone? You can inspire kids to dream of owning something when it looks like a PC on wheels, and that's the point. They want to make cars so bland, so soulless, that the next generation won't even care about owning one. It's all part of the shift to make us more than happy to hop into some futuristic, self-driving, AI-controlled cab or bus. They're conditioning us one ugly car at a time. Next time you see one of those new cars, take a closer look. It's not just a bad design choice, it's by design. They want us to forget what cars used to mean. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is just a joke for entertainment purposes.